Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to JMH Reptiles. Today, we're going to go over this pond that you guys are looking at right now. And I'm going to show you guys how I set up my DIY ponds. We're going to go over how much something like this would cost to do if you didn't already have all the stuff that you see here. Um, for Christmas, I got a gift card. I used it on a tub because I'm picking up a new animal in about a week, week and a half um, at the next expo. So, I'm going to show you guys how to go about this and how I set this up and how much it would cost if you guys didn't have this stuff already. So let's go ahead, hop into it, enjoy the rest of this clip. Let's go ahead and get into this and show you just how I made this pond. Um, it's literally a huge plastic tote. It's about four foot. <clears throat> it's about four foot long. Um, just about a foot and a half deep and about a foot uh, tall or foot and a half tall or something like that. Um, anyway, um, I have this set up for that new animal that we are picking up at the next expo. I don't know if I want to tell you guys, but I really do at the same time, so screw it, I'm going to tell you guys. I'm picking up a baby American alligator. Um, that's what this little pond is for. Um, we have, well, I'll turn the camera around and show you guys the whole setup. Right so at the top here we have this four foot long light that goes across. We have a Reptisun. Uh, tropical UVB 10.0, a 100 watt UVA basking bulb, um, a filter that is covered and turned into like this little fountain, waterfall, whatever. Um, I like the way it's set up, it looks good. Got some fake plants. Um, this huge piece of driftwood for when he wants to come out of the water, you know, bask or whatever. Um, we've got all these fake plants up here and around, have another UVB bulb up here, um, some more fake plants, bricks that hold up the huge piece of driftwood. Um, on the back I have like a reptile terrarium background. Uh, for substrate we're using sand, um, a couple of thick plants down there. Uh, it doesn't take much to build something like this. These plants here were 95 cents or 97 cents a piece at Walmart. Um, I had these plants here, where's the other one, right here, these three I had already had the um, bark or uh, wood I would already had, the bricks I already had, play sand is a couple bucks at like Lowe's, I already had some for my turtle pond, um, as you guys seen that, but the tub itself was about 20 bucks, so I mean, all in all, if you were to start with literally nothing, I mean, UVB bulbs are about 15, 20 bucks. Um, basking bulb is about seven to ten dollars, depending on which one you want. These are about fifteen to twenty dollars each. So uh, the tub itself is about twenty bucks. Three of these plants, ninety-three cents each. So round that off to about three dollars. These you can get about three dollars a piece. Three dollars a piece. Sand, three or four bucks. A uh, set of three aquarium plants for about three bucks. The filter, you're looking about 20 bucks. So, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, I paid literally $20 to build this because I had already had this stuff. It wasn't too bad to go ahead and throw it all together and it just, it came out so nice. I, I love how it came out, it looks good. Um, I picked this up at Walmart, $20 guys, so it's not too bad. To do a DIY pond is not too bad, especially if you're going to use a plastic tote. It holds water perfect, so um, you can get stronger ones. Um, sometimes you can get like double them up, you know, get another one, set this inside of it, and it'll hold water better, um, give it some extra structure and stuff like that. But this is how I make my ponds, guys. I use plastic totes, um, fill it with water, I use sand as substrate and 
decorate it how you guys want to do it. So make sure you guys have it set up for whatever animal that you guys plan on housing in it. And the other little pond, I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. So right here is the turtle pond. They have a Reptisun 10.0. Um, this is like a 70 watt basketball. There's one of the guys chilling right there. Um, they've got a huge turtle dock that I got from, I think it was like ZooMed from the pet store. Um, they have some plants in here, huge filtration. Um, I don't know where any of my koi fish are. I wanted to show you guys. I don't see them though. So, oh, I see one down underneath this. But there's two koi fish in here and three baby turtles in this pond. So this one was a lot cheaper. Um, I paid $10 for this tote and I had the 60 gallon filter already. Um, this cost about 20 bucks but we have already had it. So bamboo was a dollar at Lowe's. Fake plants, you know, some bamboo. This is just chilling over there, it fell down. So I need to fix it. And they've got a plant floating around that I need to get back set up. They like it though. So I've been letting it float around because they chill on it. Gives them something to hang out on. And something fell in there. Oh, there's one of the fish right there. And the other one flew under there. Let me get this out. My son must've been playing in here. Okay, anyway, there's the fish, there's my koi fish. There's two kois in here, three turtles, and yeah, they get along fine. And they're gonna get an upgrade once we move, just like the alligator tank or pond, we're gonna have something about that size set up for them. So, that is my little short video. Before we go, I'm gonna give you guys a little update on what I would like to do 2019. Um, as most of you guys know on Facebook and stuff, I've been going and picking up more ball pythons. We have a couple here, and yes, guys, this is a incubator that I built. It works perfect. It was a old um, Kickstart Mountain Dew mini fridge, and I took it all apart, threw a heat mat in there, my plastic tote, thermostat, all that. If you guys want to see how I did this, um, let me know and I'll show you guys. My thermostat fell back down. I'll have to hook that back up there. So, yeah. So it's 91.9 in there. Which is really about as hot as it usually is. You have to see it stays about 90 in there on the normal. Um, but, yeah. And we now have decals, guys. If you guys want one this size for JMH Reptiles, this size is $5, and then we have smaller ones that are $3. They're 3x3, three three, and these are 6x6. Six six. So if you guys want to uh, get you guys some nice JMH decals, comment below. Get a hold of me on Instagram. We'll hook you guys up, get you guys some decals out. But, thermostat fell again. But we will have hoodies to go along with the decals and t-shirts here soon. As soon as I get them, I will let you guys all know. Most of you guys on Instagram will already know when they're out because that's where I post the most about any updates in this room or Facebook. So thank you guys for watching this. If you guys want an update on these ponds and all that, it will come shortly. I'm sorry this video is kind of all over the place, but like I said, holidays have me all over the place. I'm a little bit behind in my room. I have things being rearranged and tanks over everywhere mini fridges and I've, I've got to get on this room so I'm gonna get off of here guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like these videos give them a thumbs up make sure you guys are checking out the other videos go check out the old reptile room tour I'm hoping to do that will be that'll probably be the first video of 2019 is a whole tour of everything in this room and how much it's changed it's it's nuts it's getting crazy so make sure you guys subscribe Hit the not notification bell so you guys are notified every single time that I post a video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys have. What kind of animals do you guys have? What's your favorite animal, reptile, amphibian? Or what is your dream animal to get? What is something that you want to get and end up with someday? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next